This question is one of the best that I have seen on my comments, and I want to address this because the best way to learn Spanish is not to learn it at all. You need to acquire the language. Whenever you're talking about learning a second language versus acquiring it, the difference is going to be in something called a didactic sequence. A didactic sequence is a set of activities that a teacher makes for you to complete to help you understand how to learn Spanish. And I'm going to give you one of these that will help you acquire Spanish, but first First, we need to know what's the difference between language learning and language acquisition. Whenever you talk about language learning, most of the time you're going to learn all of the grammar rules and then you're going to go and you're going to apply them. Language acquisition, on the other hand, comes from the psychology of language and this is actually what I studied. So whenever we're acquiring a language, it's going to come in different levels. You can't skip one level faster than the other. It just has to happen naturally, just like it did in English. So whenever you started to learn English, you started to learn sounds and you started to put them together into small words. The cool thing about being somebody who's older, not a toddler trying to learn a language, is that you can actually bypass this part. You can start putting words and sentences together much more quickly. However, in language acquisition, you're gonna have to go through some things that might make you a little uncomfortable so you can acquire the language. So let's look at a didactic sequence that you can use in Spanish to help you learn how to introduce yourself to someone and start speaking Spanish sooner than later. Do you find a video of people introducing themselves in Spanish speaking to native Spanish speakers? It will let your ears understand what people are saying and it'll also help you to understand the flow of the language if you listen closely and you'll also start to understand how to respond to certain things that people might ask you when you first meet them. Second part in this didactic sequence would be to write out introductions for people. So pretend that you are two different people, write the introduction for one and what the person will respond and kind of create a small dialogue between two people speaking. This is gonna help you to develop your spoke, your written Spanish as well as your spoken Spanish. Activity three would be to take this dialogue that you've written and go and speak to somebody in Spanish. Give them the dialogue that you've written. This will make sure that if you have any mistakes, they can help you correct them. It'll also let the person know that you're actively trying to acquire their language. So they're going to be really, really happy to help you. And the third thing it's going to do is give you the chance to speak with them. So whenever you're trying to learn Spanish, my recommendation is not to learn it. Acquire it through a didactic sequence with a second language acquisition specialist.